Bishop Westlash. What will you call her? Will her. You call her? A book by Reverend Bob Alunga. It's really going to affect the way you see women folk. This message, there has never been any message I've had like that. And my concept about marriage and relationship. What will you, you call, call her? her? Available at the nearest Christian bookshop or call us. Through this book, I could see balance. Very tremendous book. It's very, very, very powerful. I read it. You know I need you. You're the bone of my bone. You're the flesh of my flesh. What will you call her? Order for your copy now. Now, now, now. There are three things that are peculiar about the Rima Bible Training Institute. One is the consistency of the man with the vision and the consistency of the vision as a whole. Most big things never start big. All big things start small. God always makes greatness out of small things. He's a God that chooses the despised things of the world and he brings forth something out of it. And that's exactly what God is doing with the Covenant Institute. At Rema, the history of Rema has taken years and years and years to establish and to develop because of a consistency of spirit, a consistency in the generation of the doctrine. The second thing that struck me and won my heart about Rhema Bible Training Institute is the fact that all of this is happening in a strong prophetic atmosphere. The doctrine that is changing the face of the world is coming out of a prophetic atmosphere, uh, uh, an atmosphere of the flow of the spirit. And that's where all of this is being generated. You see, the ministers coming out of that institution are not merely trained, they are birthed. An apostolic birth cannot take place except there is a prophetic atmosphere, a flow of the Spirit of God. When the Lord turned again to captivity, 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 people a lot of times are in captivity to religion. They're in captivity of what other people think, and a thousand and one thing. Well, let, let him turn that captivity. Hallelujah! How does he do it? By you accepting and believing it. Now thank him for it. Glory to God, hallelujah. And enter into a newness, newness of joy, a fullness of joy. Amen, move in, move on 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 in. Hey, 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 hey. Praise God, and all of the past shall be obliterated. Obliterated. Praise God. Amen. Those things which have troubled you will trouble you no more. <laughs> and the blessings of the Lord will overtake you. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Training material at Rhema Bible Training Institute, the manuals, the books, and all of the things that make up the coursework were actually developed from the transcription and the editing of scripts and manuscripts that were compiled from a prophetic move, from a teaching that was born from the very presence of God. And that's where doctrine is being generated. There are some other men who have touched their generation and are touching this generation and are making an impact in different places around the world. There is Dr. Miles Monroe, who's brought forth an atmosphere of the Spirit of God concerning purpose. There's Dr. Rick Godwin, who's brought forth an atmosphere of the Spirit of God concerning covenant and concerning order. There is the apostle Dr. Noel Woodruff, a man that has brought structure and an apostolic orientation back into the body of Christ. And we also have the Archbishop Vernon Ash, who has brought forth a revelation of a God of diversity. And he's also brought forth a spirit of maturity and excellence to the things of God. I want to emphasize again that it is by the Spirit of God. No curriculum is the same. We wait upon the Lord every year to update our curriculum. You, you might have some courses this year and next year we have added even more because it is by the Spirit of God. We're not following the letter, we're following the Spirit. My life has been totally turned around as a teacher, as an instructor in this Bible school because as I go through all the lessons, I'm impacted by the life of God, by a deeper understanding. And this only comes because of the teaching grace that is available for us in this Bible school.
The Covenant Institute began a couple of years ago and God has done such mighty things in this institution. But God is bringing us to another level, a level of consolidation, a level where we begin to put together, a level where we begin to document. The problem is not often because we don't see the vision. It's because we don't make it plain. The Bible says write the vision, make it plain. Making the vision plain involves the documentation in writing, the documentation on tapes, the documentation on video, the documentation on various media that God has provided for us in this generation. And that's the phase at which the Lord is beginning to expand the scope of this institution. The Covenant Institute of Ministry is reaching out to a generation that is gradually beginning to sense that God is wrapping up the ages, that God is coming back, and that something is about to break forth upon the face of this earth. Stay tuned. tuned. Impact will be back after this message. You can make an impact. Yes, you can. You can make an impact. This is a special tape offer from the School of Business and Leadership Studies of the Covenant Institute. I hear the sound of revival like no man has known before. A revival when men will fall upon their face on the streets of Abuja. A revival the when quest for exceptional leadership, culture. inspirational teaching that will change your life. Available on audio tapes, 100 Naira per tape. Available from the nearest Christian bookshop and from the Capital Assembly. The Quest for Exceptional Leadership. leadership. interesting thing about this Bible school is that as much as it is connected to the Capital Assembly, we have ministers, elders, workers from different churches who want to drink. Some of them have gone through a form of Bible school or the other, but they just come over and roll into the Bible school and they speak specifically that the Lord has led them that to come and drink more because the simple truth is that the Spirit of God is moving in different ways and different dimensions and as we drink from other sources from external sources our lives are enriched as led by the spirit so it's just unique to to the bible school that different pastors different ministers different workers from other ministries and other churches feel deeply impressed of god to be a part of the bible school perhaps you've been considering that there's something more that god wants to do with your life perhaps you has you are sensing deep inside of you that God wants to equip you, prepare you for something great. Perhaps you understand that there's something your life contains that the world around you needs. The Covenant Institute has been packaged by God for people just like you.
special assignment. The details of this assignment have been implanted deep inside your heart. It cannot be decoded by anybody except you. It cannot be decoded except with the help of the master. You will execute this assignment under his cover. His force will be with you. You will not be alone. You will rendezvous with others who also carry the call. You are to uncover and exterminate the spirit of poverty. You are to seek and heal the brokenhearted. You must find and liberate every citizen in prison. You are to bring light to those blinded by darkness. Destroy every yoke. Search out and take out every oppression. Announce to every citizen that something is about to happen. You will need special equipment. You will need special training. The success of this mission will depend upon your training. For this cause, you have been conscripted into the Covenant Institute. By the end of your training, you would have been transformed by the renewing of your mind. Go where no man has gone before. Go with accuracy. Go with confidence. Go into all the world. Go and finish what the master has started. Remember, you are in his majesty's secret service. The force of his power be with you. Face with your situations and your limitations lead you to frustration. Wait a minute, change your position. You can have an expectation, God will change your situation. You can make an impact. 